Hello everybody, I'm sure that you saw on the network or maybe you saw on your accounts the terrible situation of the MC011 restriction. In this video I want to show you how to avoid this situation, why can it happen and what to do if you already got this restriction, how to go out of it without paying thousands or hundreds of dollars to external people to do this for you. So, first of all, we had a blog post about this uh, restriction and I saw that this blog post became very popular and a lot of people asked me about this, a lot of questions, so I decided to make this video for you. So, first of all, MC011 is the hardest eBay restriction. Most of the people, you will see it in the Facebook groups and things like this, that if someone asks how to go out of this situation, most of the people will write him that you cannot and just close this account and open another one. So this is not true because actually if you will really want to go out of this situation and if you will really spend enough time to do this so you can get out of this situation and get the restriction removed. So the, fir the first thing which you need to know, this is the email, this is how it looks like. Sometimes it will look a bit different, maybe they will ask you some different documents or the uh, like the text on the message will be a bit different, but the concept is the same. So why would you get things like this? Why would you get a restriction that will actually block your account until you solve the situation? So here are the main uh, reasons. The first one is if you have too many cases which you didn't respond or even if you respond them but it's still a very high percent of cases so it can cause this situation. The second thing is low percent of tracking numbers. So if you don't upload tracking numbers of ta on time you will get this uh, restriction. High returns and cancellation rate, lack of communication with your buyers. It's very important to communicate with your buyers and to give the best customer support because in most of the cases, people who come to me, this is the reason why they get the restriction. Too many cases which closed without your resolution. So eBay just closed the cases and you didn't respond to your buyers. It's a terrible situation and you will be blocked very fast in these cases. And if you use the same eBay account for multiple dropshipping types, I actually recommend to do this, but you need to do it smart and you need to put the, the uh, right locations. So in general, eBay wants you to get to give the best customer experience to your customers. If you give the best customer experience, you will not be suspended. Another important thing here that in many cases it happens when you uh, pass the $1,000 of sales per day. So if you want to avoid it completely, just open another account instead of make one huge account. You can check our other guides about how to create stealth accounts and work with these uh, guides. So, for how long does this restriction uh, last? So actually it can be uh, forever, it will be forever if you do nothing. So if you work by this guide, you can uh, very fast remove the restriction. With the, with the methods which I will show you today, you can do it within one or two weeks maximum instead of month. So can you open another store while, while you have the suspension? No, not linked account, only stealth accounts. So if you want to uh, open the restriction, as I said, instead of three months using the methods which we will show here, it will be between one week and two weeks. So you can remove it alone. People on the network ask for this more than $1,000 just to remove the suspension for you. And you can actually make it very easily and remove it very easily uh, by yourself. All what you need to do is to follow up eBay's steps, the things which they ask you to provide them and just provide it. And in this video, I want now to show you how to provide the best documents. So for the financial proof, all what you need to do, you need to uh, provide them. Uh, I recommend actually the phone bill because it's very easy to get it and just send it to them and it will be fine. Proof of, identi of identifying, you can provide driving license or uh, ID card or passport card. It will be fine for them. About the uh, proof of mercenaries. So actually eBay asks you for invoices from your suppliers. What I recommend you to do is something very easy. Just go to your supplier, then you can very easily 
order a few items to your location, to the location which listed on your products and on your eBay account, so just send it to your primary location. After you order like 10 products, download the invoices to your computer, then you can cancel the orders if you wish. So actually, you can just go to Amazon, download, uh, order 10 products, 10 of your last uploaded products, get the invoices from there and upload it to your, to your eBay, uh, to, what, to the message which you sent to eBay. So this is the best method. You can decide after that if you want to cancel the products or not, it's up to you. So this is my tips about how to remove it on the regular way. Another method here is that if you use suppliers like Costway or Banggood, we have dropship agreement with these suppliers. So actually, you can ask us on the support, if you go to autodesk.com, you can ask us on the support for a contract with Banggood. And then you can provide eBay the contract with your supplier that you are working with them and eBay will be fine with it. Not only this, you can also go to costway.com Register to their dropship center and if you are working with them, you will get a PDF file that you are a certificated a dropshipper from them. Just take this PDF file, send it to eBay and you will be approved and the restriction will be removed. So I know many dropshippers who got MC011, used this method and they just bypassed all of these steps. It was very easy. The first two for sure you still need to do, but if you do uh, the last the last step with the uh, dropship agreement from Banggood or Costway so you will uh, pass this uh, situation very easily. I will release another video about how to get higher discounts from Costway uh, for, uh, for the dropship center and also we have another video about how to do this uh, with Banggood. So with Banggood we have the 7% discount instead of 5% for AutoDS members. So you have their only benefits, you have the dropship agreement and you have the higher discount. So just as the agreement uh, for us on the AutoDS support chat, which works 24 seven, and it will also help you to, do, to buy past this situation. I hope that you like this video. For any question about MC011, you can write down under this video or on the blog post here. And I promise you that I'm going by myself and answering all of the questions. See you on the next videos. Bye bye.